Hi everyone, I am back. I, I've i been off YouTube for a little while um, for a very good reason. I, I'm having trouble with cognition, so I, I've been making the Italian videos over and over and I've had quite a bit of difficulty, so I'm, I'm going to try it and see how it comes out. I have so much to say though. So I'm going to try my best in 10 minutes. I have to start by letting you know that the reason why I wasn't able to make videos lately it has been because of my, my, my husband's mom that passed away two weeks ago. Um, just have to give you a little short recap of my, three and a half, my past three and a half years. It all started with me finding out to have multiple sclerosis. Three days later, I was in the hospital with my first relapse. And while I was in the hospital, um, my husband's father passed away. He lost his battle with colon cancer. Six months after that, his wife, so my husband's mom, found out that she had uterine cancer. And she passed away two weeks ago. So definitely, it's hard to see my husband suffering so much. He had a very close relationship to both of his parents and now he doesn't have them and anymore. And it was, it is extremely difficult to see somebody suffering every day. I can tell you that I haven't cried as much as I cried on the funeral, at the funeral, since I was that nose with a mask, since I, I heard those words and and for the first two weeks, I, I cried quite a bit before picking myself up and, and finding hope and, and moving on. Now, it's the time of, it's, the, it's a difficult period of time, as you can imagine. But, like I always try to do in every video that I make, and that's why I find the right moment to make it. I also find it time-wise, but I also find it when it's ready, uh, when I feel ready inside. I was able to find hope with my husband during that very difficult time, during the days of the wake. It was a very special and um, a very special day. Uh, the second day of the wake, something, it, it was the 9th of February, and um, my husband and I chose hope over pain. We were going through a lot, we still are, but we talked about it and we felt that it was very important for us to be part of Dr. Zamboni's speech at NYU. So the 9th of February, my husband and I drove to New York City, it's only an hour and a half from where I live, and we went to New York University and we were there earlier, so I was able to see the doctor coming in. Um, just when I looked at him, he knew exactly who I was because we write to each other sometimes. And he said my name. I was so happy to say, to, to finally see him and thank him personally. I heard his speech for 45 minutes. During that time, I had tears in my eyes. I had a big smile on my face. I felt joy. I felt pain. I felt hope. I, it was going, it was, I felt like going up and down the, um, um, the roller coasters because there were so many feelings, sensations, and things that I, that were happening inside of me, and the words made sense, oh goodness, if they make sense, I was able to finally say, maybe now the doctors won't believe me. I wish I could bring every single doctor, rheumatologist, cardiologist, neurologist that I've seen in the past three and a half years where I presented myself and I said, without knowing any of this, my MS has something to do with the blood, with circulation, and I wasn't believed right away. Some of them believed me though, so thank you Dr. Greenberg. And I, I felt a lot listening to his words. And he was able to give me hope on a day that was extremely difficult for me and my husband. The 11th of uh, February um, was the funeral, and the day after was my birthday. It was another roller coaster, but I kept the hope in my heart, and I do every single day. 
And that's why I try to work as hard as I can to give support to Dr. Zamboni. Meeting him was one of the most amazing moments of the year and it will be for a very long time. I will keep him in my heart. When I saw that CBS and ABC, uh, the journalists were there to interview him, I was very pleased. I st stood on the side chatting and smiling and talking to Dr. Salvi. He is such an incredibly funny man. I was able, we were able to joke and he's, <laughs> the, the things that he said just, it, it was almost impossible not to laugh at. So um, he was able to take some of the, uh, the sadness away for, for half an hour really. And I got to meet more special people that are doing their best to help us. And at the end, when Dr. Zomboni was, was finally free, I was able to chat with him and give him a big hug and be able to take photos and especially be able to thank him personally and see his beautiful smile. And his beautiful smile pretty much gave me more hope because he knows that he is believed, he knows that people are changing their minds, he knows that it's better to have criticism than indifference. Indifference is silence, indifference is quiet, it is never good. Having criticism is a lot better. Unfortunately, some of the presents, uh, the people presents, there weren't as many patients, but big people, big important people in the neurological world, and some cardiologists, and uh, the MS people, the MS Society people, and um, questions were, you know, the usual criticisms and things like that, and it wasn't fun for me to listen, but they were good criticism in the sense that allowed him to explain himself. He always had the best answers, quick answer, good answers, and it just, I, I was very pleased with what he said, I was pleased with what he's done, and definitely he has a lot of strength. So, well, my, my journey, three and a half years, have been extremely difficult. I don't want to see only those difficult things. And my husband and I are trying to refuse to get stuck on those um, difficult things and sad things. And while he's going through a lot and it is extremely difficult for me to see somebody that I love feel so much pain every single day. And, and wonder why, you know, why, why, why? The famous question, why all of these things happen? And while I gave myself a lot of answers, I was able to find so many of them, the ones that I don't understand, I put aside and then just, <laughs> I go on. And I, like I said, I look for hope. I look for moments, I look for opportunities when I can see this. And I've been very blessed in meeting him. I didn't speak about it right away, except on my page or, or the Italian CCSPI page. Um, I didn't, you know, <laughs> make it live right away because I was going through a lot and I'm, I'm a lot more, uh, I'm a lot busier than I used to be before. And, but I, I felt it was important uh, to, to, uh, to share this with everybody and that's why I decided to make the video today. I hope it's not too long. I just want to let you know what I've been going through, let you know that of course in the past few weeks I haven't been able to take care of myself and I can definitely be another proof, proving point here. Um, stress is not good at all for you. Uh, many of the other symptoms came back uh, that I did, didn't have for a while because uh, possibly the diet change wasn't able to take care of my food and cook for myself and things like that and then uh, definitely the stress level is extremely high and that has brought more problems. But there is hope and I saw it with my own eyes, I heard the words, I, I am so thankful, so grateful, so blessed no matter what. So thank you so much for listening, sorry if I don't keep in touch as much, I don't, I don't get to see all of your videos right now, I try but it's hard. With the foundation and with everything else, I will make another video very soon and let you know more positive things out of pain we can find the strength to go on. Thank you so much. Bye.